chapters that are recognized as models of innovation deliver universal FFA values through relevant, creative, and effective strategies. Whether they are supporting mental health, recruiting new members, developing chapter leaders, or preparing students for lifelong, well-rounded success, these chapters lead the way in areas of growing leaders, building communities, and strengthening agriculture. Let's meet the finalists. Hi, I'm part of the Redwood Valley FFA team. Our activity for building communities was an animal parade. We walked around two senior living facilities with five different species of animals, including horses, goats, and a sheep, just to name a few. The goal of this was to boost morale for senior citizens during the COVID pandemic. We accomplished our first goal by having over eight animals with three different species. The second goal that we accomplished was to have a brochure ready to pass out by October 15th. We didn't meet our third goal of having five people fill out surveys because of COVID restrictions. Overall, the seniors and our FFA members really enjoyed the parade. Models of Innovation Backpack Food Program by Sleepy FFA. The Backpack Food Program provides elementary students at risk for hunger bags of food for the weekend with a family meal and a snack. We received a $3,000 Living to Serve grant to fund extensions for the Backpack Program. Members packed main dishes, fruits, and snacks for six different weeks. We also packed the holiday boxes that included extra meals, gifts, and personal items. Birthday box supplies, pantry items, and snacks were purchased and delivered. Bears and ornaments were purchased and wrapped and included in the holiday boxes. Those in need got food and gifts. All middle school students are able to shop for snacks and personal care items for free all on their own in the pantry in the counselor's office. Helping with these projects is very rewarding. with the Randolph FFA and this year for our national chapter award we, were, we highlighted our annual awards ceremony. We were selected as part of the Models Innovation for our unique awards program but this year due to COVID we had to change a few things. For example, this year instead of rather having it inside the school gym we moved it out to the Randolph FFA alumni tractor bus site. At the site we set up a flatbed semi-trailer that one of our supporters let us use for the day. On the on the trailer, we set up chairs and tables, and that's where we socially distance all of our officers. While on the actual tractor pull track, we set up chairs, and that's where we were able to have all our members sit and watch the program. And the bleachers behind the pet track is where we set up all the parents and supporters who attended our program were able to come out and watch us and sit there socially distance. We also used a sound system that day that we rented, so that way everybody would be able to hear us loud and clear, even from the bleachers. After the awards program on normal years, we normally would have had a lunch buffet, but this year due to COVID, we weren't able to. But rather instead, we handed out ice cream treats in a drive through form as people were exiting the pole site after the program. Models of Innovation Uplifting Quote Sign by Sleepy FFA. At the beginning of May, after a couple months of COVID shutdowns, the officer team was determined to lift people's spirits. We decided to make a sign holder to place along the main highway through town and switch out the uplifting quote posters each week. Officers took turns making the posters and Morgan put them up each week. We had to make two posters so it was double-sided. We made sure to leave room for the FFA emblem to be on the sign and a red heart on each one. This way, the community knows how much FFA cares about them. 
The quotes were a huge hit with the community and helped lift the spirits of everyone who saw them from May to October. After taking the posters out, we put them up in the school in the egg hallway in order to continue to lift spirits all year long. I'm Jed. And I'm David from the AMSA FFA chapter. This year we hosted Community Night, which was an online event open to all AFSA families. It consisted of crafts, a scavenger hunt, an herb garden lessons, a tour of a dairy farm, and agricultural trivia. The AFSA FFA officer team ran a scavenger hunt that challenged participants' knowledge by having them search for byproducts of animals and agriculturally related products. Community Night helped build support groups because it brought together FFA members, parents, and members of the broader AFSA community to learn about agriculture and FFA. It allowed everyone to see and experience the importance of agriculture and FFA. It was a great success. We had over 70 participants in an online call, many with multiple people and whole families. Chapter recruitment videos by Princeton FFA. During the COVID pandemic, we wanted to reach out to our members and high school peers, so we created videos to connect. Our videos were shared and viewed on many different social media platforms. Here are a few snippets from our videos. Enjoy! FFA helps you out, FFA educates, FFA grows career success and leadership. FFA helps plant the seed you may not have known you need. FFA teaches egg education. Yes, I've learned so much throughout these two years, dealing with from when they're born to when they go to the butcher to get sold. Scary judging. Fish and wildlife competitions. Going on trips. Going to state. Forestry. The Big Head Scavenger Hunt was a new activity for our chapter this year, conducted at the September chapter meeting. The purpose of this activity was to have the members bond with one another and get to know the new officer team. It also worked as a recruitment event, resulting in a 15% increase in chapter membership. During the activity, the members worked together with an officer to race around the school and find the 12 officer big heads that were hidden throughout the school grounds. The participants had 15 minutes to find all 12 big heads. The team that took the most pictures with the big heads were declared the winners of the contest. The winning team received Dairy Queen gift cards and all participants enjoyed Ripper floats at the end of the night. It was a great opportunity for our members to enjoy a socially distanced activity while still interacting with other members and officers. What cool ideas! Congratulations to each of these finalists. 